salaf ana laki. The Prophet said, wa ni'ma salaf ana laki. He said, for verily Fatima, you will be the one who will be dying after me. You will be soon to follow me. And he said, for verily ni'ma salaf ana laki. I am the best of the salaf for you. I am the best of the salaf for you. And this hadith is in Bukhari. In Kitab al-Istidhan, ba mannad. For the person who say that this hadith is made up, it's in Bukhari and it's in Muslim. The hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. And as also started with the Prophet you will see as also the Sahabi used to use the term as salaf. As Anas ibn Malik, as Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu, he mentioned an authentic hadith and an author which is on Anas, as we're going to go in order, starting from the Prophet, to the Sahaba that they used to word the term Salaf as also from the Tabi'een for those who followed them. You will see that they used to word, use the word term a Salaf. That basically that Ibn Ma Anas Ibn Malik said ثُمَّ قَالَ أَمَا وَاللَّهِ عَلَى ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ عَاشَ فِي هَذَا النُّكَرْ وَلَمْ يُدْرِكْ ذَلِكَ الصَّلَفُ الصَّالِحِ فَرَأَى مُبْتَدِعًا يَدْعُوا إِلَى بِضَعَتِهِ وَرَأَى صَاحِبُ الدُّنْيَا يَدْعُوا إِلَى ذلك. وَجَعَلَ قَلْبَهُ يَحِنُّ إِلَى ذَلِكَ السَّلَفِ الصَّالِحِ يَسْأَلُوا عَنْ سَبِيلِهِمْ وَيَقْتَصُّ آثَارَهُمْ وَيَتَّبِعُوا سَبِيلَهُمْ لِيُعَوِّضَ أَجْرًا عَظِيمًا وَكَذَلِكَ فَكُونُوا إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ As Anas ibn Malik رضي الله عنه he said He says, وَأَمَّا وَاللَّهِ I'm going to read just the sentence where he mentioned the salaf He says, for a person may call to a, an innovation or a person of desire will call to the world, to the worldly affairs he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect him and that he makes his heart inclined towards the prior predecessors. Yes, Allah in Sabilihim, and that he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for their way, and that he follows their way and embarks upon their path, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase him in reward. And that's if he said for be like that, inshaAllah. So you see that this word as salaf that the Sahaba used and that the Prophet Sallallahu himself used the word as salaf And as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah said that he mentioned that لا عيب على من أظهر مذهب السلف وانتسب إليه واعتزى إليه بل يجب قبول ذلك منه بالاتفاق فإن مذهب السلف لا يكون إلا حقا As, as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah mentioned he said it is not a aib it's not a discrepancy whatsoever for a person to show the methodology of the Salaf, and that he attributes himself to it. That he attributes himself to it, he said, rather it is obligatory upon that person to accept it from him, bilitifaq, in an agreeance that is upon a person to accept that from him. For verily, the terminology of the Salaf is not, except that it is not the haq, that it is not the truth. And as a person can call himself Salafi, as the people of the past used to use it, and also, you will see, as Sheikh bin Baz rahimahullah mentioned in a fatwa, as it was asked to Sheikh bin Baz about this term as Salafi, that Sheikh bin Baz said, and also the term al Wahhabiya. As Sheikh bin Baz said, rahimahullah, he said, وَلَيْسَتِ الْوَهَّابِيَّ مَذْهَبٍ خَامِسًا He said, Wahhabiya is not a fifth methodology or school of thought. It is not a school of thought. كَمَا يَزْعُمُهُ الْجَاهِلُونَ وَالْمُغَرِّدُونَ وَإِنَّمَا هِيَ دَعْوَ إِلَى الْعَقِيدَةِ السَّلَفِيَّةِ وَتَجْدِيلِ مَا دَرَسَ مِنْ مَعَالِمِ الْإِسْلَامِ وَالتَّوْحِيدِ Verily, he said it is not a fifth school of thought. Rather, as the people of those who are ignorant and the people who have evil intentions in their heart, as they try to acclaim to or say. Or rather, it is an acclamation or a calling to the correct understanding of the aqidah, al-aqidah al-salafiyyah. The methodology of the term of the salaf, that understanding that the sahaba were upon. Put in your mind all the time when you hear the word salaf, you're going back to the sahaba and those who followed the sahaba. Because what? Just we mentioned in the first part of the lecture, what? They were the people who took the revelation purely from the Prophet So you're attributing yourself to that correct understanding in which they were upon. Because every person in every innovation calls themselves Muslim. In the front and in the open. Everybody of these deviant sects calls themselves Muslim. But what is the thing that separates a person from those who have evil, from those who are upon the truth? Rather, is that from person that attributes himself to the people of the truth. 
And as Shaykh Uthaymin rahimahullah mentioned, he says, فَأَهْلُ السُّنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعَةِ هُمُ السَّلَفِ مُعْتَقِدًا حَتَّى الْمُتَأَخِرِ لَا يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ إِذَا كَانَ عَلَى طُرِيقَةِ النَّبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ وَأَصْحَابِهِ فَإِنَّهُ سَلَفِي As Shaykh Muhammad Salih al-Uthaymin rahimahullah mentioned, he says, وَفَرَيْرِ أَهْلُ السُّنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعَةِ He said that the people of the Sunnah and the people of unity, he said they are the Salaf. And he said they have the firm belief to that, even up to the Day of Judgment. And they are that which they are upon the way of the Prophet Sallallahu and and his followers, for verily he is Salafi. Verily he is Salafi. Notice that the Shaykh said Salafi. A person is Salafi. So it is not no problem in a person calling himself Salafi in the least. Now I want to mention this thing from Sheikh, Sheikh Nasr, Sheikh Muhammad Nasr Din al-Albani, that he made a good point about this term of Salafi. When it was asked to Shaykh al-Albani about this, it was asked Shaykh al-Albani, hold on for one second. Huh? Hmm? Okay. It was asked Shaykh al-Albani, rahimallah, about this term, a Salafi. Why must a person call himself Salafi? Why is this term that a Muslims cling to this word Salafi? But verily, as the Shaykh mentioned, he said, in the kalima to salaf, as the Prophet Sallallahu used it, as he said, as I just mentioned, فَاتَّقِ اللَّهِ وَاسْبِرِي وَنِعْمَ السَّلَفِ أَنَا لَكِي That the Shaykh mentioned, he said, for verily, during the time when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi became sick, he said to Fatima, he says, fear Allah and be patient, and I am the best of a salaf for you. And he said, rather, the term, is, this term has been used among, plentiful amongst the people. And this is also in this example of poetry that the Salaf used to say, that the poet used to say that every good is in following the Salaf and that every evil is innovation in those in the Khalaf. He says, as the Prophet said that the best of people are my time and those who follow them and those who follow them. He says, as a person will say, I am not Salafi. If you'll say that, do you know what you're saying in actuality? If a person say, I'm not saying, I'm not Salafi. I'm not saying that I'm Salafi in the least. What is that? I'm not Salafi. The Shaykh mentioned that he said, the very, actually what you're saying is, he said, verily, a person is saying, لا شك أن مثل هذا الإنكار لو كان يعنيه يلزم منه التبرؤ من الإسلام الصحيح الذي كان عليه سلف الصالح وعلى على رأسهم النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كما يشير الحديث المتواتر في في الصحيحين خير الناس قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم. He says for verily a person if he says that I'm not Salafi, he says for verily you are freeing yourself from the correct understanding of Islam. You are freeing yourself from the correct understanding of Islam. That was the that which the the prized predecessors were upon, and on top of them is the Prophet ﷺ himself, as the hadith goes back to that the best of my people are my time and those who follow them and those who follow them. But verily a person might say, for example, also, and a Muslim, for example, a person, if you come to a Muslim and say to him, for example, and a Muslim, al-kitab wa sunnah wa ala minhaji salafi na salih. A person, now you're not gonna say that, but basically all you're saying is, in, in summary, and a salafi. <laughs> If you say that I'm a Muslim upon the kitab, the sunnah, the understanding of the way of the salaf, okay, you might just call yourself salafi. <laughs> That's what it is. That's just what you're saying. But people will say, no, I'm not salafi, I'm upon the understanding, I'm upon the kitab, the sunnah, the way of the salaf, the salaf. Okay, well, you're just saying you're salafi. That's all you're saying. There's no, it's no, it's no way of getting around it. And you cannot denounce yourself from being salafi. Because the people, the best way, the people who understand Islam, was the Sahaba. There's nobody who understood the revelation better than the Sahaba. This revelation came pure down to the Prophet and it came and he taught it to the Sahaba directly. And he taught and they taught that to the, the Tabi'een, the followers who came after the Sahaba, and those who followed them and those who followed them. And that's what I came here and asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to benefit what we heard. And if there's any questions for I'll just try to wrap it up. If there's any questions about that. And if there's any mistakes, when can't the Akhtar for Minni, when I see, 
وأعوذ بالله من الشيطان ومن أخطائي وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه أجمعين وآخر الدعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين.